In this episode of Embark the Evolution of Innovation, a journey back through Norwegian Cruise Line's incomparable legacy of entertainment. Entertainment has always been very front of the game for Norwegian Cruise Line. Traditionally, cruise ship entertainment was very, very review style. And they said, we want Broadway. So NCL brought Broadway to sea. It's not the 13 JV team. These are the same people who you see perform on Broadway. I'm a big fan of NCL, and there's nothing better than seeing a great show while you're on vacation. I literally walked out of that theater going, I will have this show on the ships, and I will have it soon. I think the ambition of NCL was what was attractive to us. Bringing down the house on board the vacation of a lifetime. Welcome, everyone. I'm Simon Akinwaleri cruise director for Norwegian Cruise Line. When it comes to the best in entertainment, NCL sets the bar high. We've been very fortunate to attract Broadway and West End caliber talent to our lineup, allowing our guests to experience award-winning live entertainment across our entire fleet. And we continue to push the boundaries even further when it comes to elevating the theater experience at sea. In this episode, we shine a light on the history of the entertainment NCL has been so proud to bring to our guests over the years, redefining what's achievable at sea. We will give you a sneak peek of the latest and greatest, and believe me, this is something you will not want to miss. It's always about keeping innovation forward and keeping it the front of everything that we do and everything that you know I do specifically at Norwegian Cruise Line. I am Richard Ambrose. I'm Senior Vice President of Entertainment and Cruise Programs at Norwegian Cruise Line. It's really about trying to stay ahead of the game. When I first came to Norwegian Cruise Line, the executives at the time said, you know, I asked them, well, what do you want? And they said, we want Broadway. And I said, well, you can't have Broadway. Broadway's in New York. But I know what you mean. What they wanted is they wanted the talent. It's raining men. Hallelujah. Entertainment has always been very front of the game for Norwegian Cruise Line. It's always been the best, you know, from what that was. So how did we make that step forward? When I came to Norwegian Cruise Line, it was really about how can we raise the production values? How can we make this a first class quality experience for our guests? Richard Ambrose is unique in this industry. He was a performer himself on Broadway and uh, he just gets it. And we really needed to raise the quality on a production level, which means the costumes had got to be better. Scenically, things had to change. So it was really a whole rethinking and rebranding. What we did in the past, you know, really gave us the springboard to go forward. And that's where I took it. So I took our great past and just moved us forward. Traditionally, cruise ship entertainment was very, very review style in that there are singers and dancers performing hits from the 60s, 70s, maybe the 80s, but bringing in this option of true Broadway entertainment really raised the caliber of entertainment at sea. And the entertainers that we bring in, it's not the third team JV team. These are the same people who you see perform on Broadway. They do look for the best talent. They do source from the same places that Broadway sources from, the, the West End is sourcing from. The thinking behind the whole production process and the product that we deliver for our guests is that we will not accept anything that's less than A-level, first-class production quality. And not just that first time you do it for Kinky Boots on the Encore, or Rock of Ages on the Breakaway, or Priscilla Queen of the Desert on Norwegian Epic. My job is to make sure year five, year six, the quality of the production is exactly the same as it was on day one when we opened it up. Our guests has spent a lot of money and a lot of time planning for this experience of a lifetime, this vacation of a lifetime we have to deliver up to their expectations and 
exceed those expectations. Richard has been known for years in the industry to be one of the top purveyors of entertainment in the cruise line business. So to have an opportunity to work with a top entertainment cruise line is something I've been wanting to do for years with Richard. Richard's fantastic and always looking for that next big thing, that next big show. I think the, the ambition of NCL was what was attractive to us, of them kind of saying, we love your show, it's compact, it's funny, it's feel good, it's upbeat, and we all need a bit of that, even more so now. I went and saw it, and I literally walked out of that theater going, I will have this show on the ships, and I will have it soon. Just wow. Now that's what I call top-notch entertainment. Richard Ambrose and the team are so passionate about bringing the very best to NCL's fleet for all of our guests from around the world to enjoy. This next clip is a sneak peek into one of the productions that our NCL Creative Studios alone were able to bring straight from London's West End before it even made its debut on Broadway. So without further ado, Let's take a look at six. Always looking for the next big thing, Norwegian Cruise Line's Richard Ambrose struck gold in a London theatre. Everybody was talking about this little show called Six, and you couldn't get a ticket to it. The story of Six tells the tale of Henry VIII through the eyes of the wives, but it's not about Henry, it's about the wives' relationship to Henry, and also who these women were in their own right. Rather than deal with the history, we deal with the herstory, and how these six women individually tell their own stories about their relationship with Henry VIII. The interesting thing about the show is each queen is sort of based on a different sort of contemporary pop star as a as sort of a honoring. So, you know, you have, you know, anyone from Beyonce to all the greats today. Catherine of Aragon was very much styled around Beyonce. Anne Boleyn was a bit of a flavor of Lily Allen and Kate Nash. Jane Seymour was, was most definitely Adele. Then Anne of Cleves was a mixture of Lady Gaga and Nicki Minaj, and Catherine Howard was predominantly Ariana Grande, and then Catherine Parr. The one that's always mentioned is Alicia Keys. But it's this pop rock concert, you know, basically told by the six wives of Henry VIII. What can I say? It's just so much fun. The music is amazing. Before the pandemic, it was taking the theater world by storm. I think all the women in our casts are dynamic actors, so what you end up with is a collective of, of queens that come together as a team and a group that, that blow you away. When I went and my team started to pursue Six, and we pursued it hard, <laughs> you know, the producers listened. I had no experience of, of cruising at all. I'd never been on one, so I didn't really know what to expect. Richard Ambrose very kindly took me on board one. I was just blown away by the size and scale and facilities of what could be on board a, a ship. You know, I remember walking backstage and seeing the facilities thinking, these are better than most of the theatres I've ever produced work in. The really pinnacle is, is that we got six on board Norwegian Cruise Line before it opened on Broadway, which is a huge feather in the Norwegian Cruise Line cap that, you know, Broadway and West End producers are trusting Norwegian Cruise Line with their product prior to coming to Broadway. Of course, I'm a big fan of NCL and Richards. If we could take our show to your customers who buy tickets and buy cruises, because there's nothing better than seeing a great show while you're on vacation. When somebody loves a project that you're involved in as much as you do, which was clearly evident from, from the conversations we'd had with NCL, um, it just felt like, let's just get on with this. What, what are we waiting for? We just felt it was another outlet for us to celebrate the show. And, and NCL were bold and, and came in and said, can we? And we kind of went, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Why not indeed? I'm now being joined by Kevin McCullum, the Broadway producer of Six, who is in New York, and Andy Burns, Six West End producer, coming to you from my hometown, London. Welcome, gentlemen. 
Fantastic. Congrats to both of you on this amazing show. Let's start with you, Kevin. Is there a secret you can share with us? What did Richard Ambrose, NCL Senior Vice President of Entertainment, say to you that really convinced you that Six was right for NCL? Well, I guess the secret really is that it's not what he said in the moment of getting Six. It's what he has been able to show me what NCL uh, has been doing in terms of quality and their entertainment. I was obviously in negotiations and talking to Andy and Kenny and George, the original uh, West End producers, about co-producing with them to come to America and come to Broadway. And I heard Richard was also talking to them. And I called Richard and I called my partners and I said, listen, if we can make this marriage, um, we could actually have the quality of show of six on the ships that we have in the West End and Broadway. And uh, true to his word and, and his history, Richard delivered um, and so did NCL. And uh, as Andy said, you know, why not? There was no reason not to do it. And uh, that's what began sort of the, uh, the idea of we're gonna take a show to NCL before Broadway. And uh, that's a game changer. And we're just so pleased to have such a wonderful organization to help us tell our story of six. Andy, you seemed so blown away by what you saw when you boarded one of our ships. What was it that sealed the deal for you? I think, I mean, obviously the facilities are incredible and, and it was my first time visiting, but I think just walking into the, the audience, uh, into the auditorium and seeing where the audience would be and how they would experience this show, which has always been at the heart of the conversation around this, this incredible show that's very empowering um, and moving. And we kind of thought, what works brilliantly has been when it's in an intimate feel, but in an arena kind of vibe. And NCL's Auditoria just really maximized both of those things. So, yeah, it was a no-brainer. And, and behind the scenes, they had all the facilities to kind of do it as well as any did. What I'm hearing is that there's so much passion for this show, both on your end and from NCL's entertainment team. I think that passion is really what makes a show special. And it sounds like you've captured that in this production of Six. Yeah, I think what you're bringing up also is when you're on vacation, it, sometimes shows are considered a distraction, like you've done this and this and this. And on NCL, I think what Six also delivers so beautifully on is it's it's another great surprise. It, it's not It's not something to do after dinner or before dinner. It's something to look forward to all day, be surprised. And your heart is opened up differently when you're on vacation than when you're, you know, having to get to a restaurant and deal with the crowds of Broadway or the West End, which is exciting, but a very different level of how your heart works and how your mind works. It's navigating everything. And I think people are more kinder and, gen and generous to each other when they're on an NCL ship. And that's the beauty of cruising. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much for having us. Now we have a very exciting surprise for you. Let's check out an exclusive sneak peek of the opening number from Six. Divorced, beheaded, died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. And tonight we We 
of Aragon Was married 24 years I'm a paragon of royalty My loyalty is to the Vatican So if you try to dumb me You won't try that again Beheaded. I'm the Berlin girl And I'm up next See, I broke England from the church Yeah, I'm that sexy Why did I lose my head? Well, my sleeves may be green But my lipstick's red Jane Seymour, the only one he truly loved Right When my son was newly born I died, but I'm not what I seem Or am I? Stick around and you'll suddenly see more Divorce Ich bin Anna of Cleves Yeah When he saw my portrait, he was like yeah. But I didn't look as good as I did in my pic Funny how we all discuss that, but never Henry's little Pick up your ears, I'm the Catherine who lost her head Beheaded For my promiscuity outside of wed Lock up your husbands, lock up your sons Key how it is here and the fun's begun Survive down, I'm the final wife I saw him to the end of his life I'm the survivor, Catherine Pa I bet you wanna know how I got this far Well tonight we'll let you know how we got this far Cause everybody knows that we used to be Okay, well, that was absolutely fabulous. It shows like six that truly highlight the brilliant caliber of entertainment our passengers can expect to enjoy on board an NCL cruise. Now, are you ready for yet another surprise? Well then, let's take another look at the cast of six performing their original number, Heart of Stone. You've got a good heart, but I know it changes A restless tide, untamable You came my way and I knew a storm could come too You'd lift me high or let me fall took your hand and promised I'd withstand any blaze you blew my way cause something inside is solidified and I knew I'd always stay you can build me up you can tear me down you can try but you can do your best, but I'll stand the test You'll find that I'm unshakable When the fire's burned, when the wind has blown When the water's dried, you'll still find stone My heart of stone You say we're perfect, a perfect family You hold us close for the world 
Kudos to Kevin, Andy, and the entire cast of six. I can't wait to see it on an NCL ship. Until next time, I'm Simon Kimwaleri, and we'll see you on board. On the next episode of Embark with NCL, the evolution of innovation continues. The design is cutting edge. She looks different because we innovate. She's a perfect ship. 